It's the Ryder Cup this week, but that's golf and nobody really cares about it because it's rubbish. But what I do like about this is that it's America against Europe. And I always wonder what it would be like if we had Team America or Team Americas in this stage against Team Europe in the beautiful game of football. So here goes. We're going to pick a best 11 from Europe, a best 11 from the Americas and see which team you think is going to come out on top. I've been charged with being the manager of Team Americas. And that means I can pick players from North America or South America. So that means Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, USA, Mexico, and many more countries to pick from. In charge of Team Europe is going to be me. I'm responsible for picking the formation, picking the best 11, and getting those men on the pitch to beat Team America. In goal, I've gone with Liverpool's new shot stopper, Alisson. For me, he's the number one goalkeeper on the planet at the moment. In goal, the man I believe to be Europe's best goalkeeper, Atletico Madrid's Jan Oblak. My right back is Manchester United captain Antonio Valencia. The Ecuadorian is hugely experienced and he's been one of United's best players for years. And now for my back four in this 4-3-3 formation. My right back, Joshua Kimmich of Bayern Munich. My centre backs, Sergio Ramos, Rafael Varane of Real Madrid. My left back, Barcelona's Jordi Alba. My centre backs are both Atletico Madrid players, Diego Godin and Jose Jimenez. My love affair with them started at the World Cup 2018 when they were absolutely immense for Uruguay. My left back is Marcelo, and on his day, there is no better player in his position on the planet. He helped Real Madrid to yet another Champions League last season in brilliant form. The first of my three-man midfield, Sergio Busquets of Barcelona. Definitely one of the most underrated players of the last 10 years, and more than enough to snuff out any of the creative threats of these American players. Casemiro is my holding midfielder, another Real Madrid and Brazil heavyweight. He'll stop Europe's attacks and he'll shield America's defence. He's going to be joined in midfield by Belgium and Manchester City's Kevin De Bruyne. Consistently one of the best midfield players in the Premier League under Pep Guardiola and definitely one who can threaten this American team with his passing and his finishing. Philip Coutinho has been amazing for years now and he's a nailed on starter in my America's midfield. The goals he scores and the chances he creates are second to none. Alongside De Bruyne, I've gone for France's World Cup winning midfielder N'Golo Conte instead of his teammate Paul Pogba. That's because Conte can do everything that Paul Pogba can and more. Christian Pulisic is a wild card pick for me. The US men's national team star didn't get the World Cup that he craved this summer. However, in my Ryder Cup America side, he'll play alongside some world class talent. And this is where the Europeans have an embarrassment of riches and it was really hard to leave some of these players out. I'm talking about the likes of Luka Modric and Isco and Pogba. Lionel Messi will captain my America side in attack. He's the only Argentine in my side and unlike World Cup 2018, he won't have to do everything single-handedly. And up front, well, again, it's a case of take your pick. We're leaving out Champions League winners, we're leaving out World Cup winners, but this is the three that I've come up with. On the right side of attack, Kylian Mbappe. On the left side of attack, the man whose club manager describes him as the best player in Europe, Eden Hazard. And up front, it's got to be Cristiano Ronaldo. Luis Suarez, Messi's teammate at Barcelona, also gets a spot in my 11. He's a little bit past his prime, but he's still a fearless forward with an instinct for goal scoring. And my final spot goes to Neymar. He'll be reunited with his former Barcelona colleagues and once again play in an MSN trident. In all that, we're leaving out the likes of Bale, Asensio, Griezmann. Very, very tough decision for a manager of my calibre to make. Edinson Cavani, Sergio Aguero, Edison, De Vincent Sanchez, Hamas Rodriguez and Arturo Vidal just missed out on my best 11. Mbappe up against Marcelo. That's going to be absolutely no contest. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how Antonio Valencia deals with the threats of Hazard. Godin is going to make Cristiano cry. Again. <laughs> Which people hate because he loves Cristiano. During his time at Real Madrid, Ronaldo made an absolute habit of taking goals off Godin and Jimenez. That's going to be another bloodbath up there. Pete's midfield is pretty good to be fair. I would love to have De Bruyne, but Casemiro is going to keep him quiet. And in his team, Casemiro is the only midfielder he has. The other two are just going to go forward. That's going to leave all the space that De Bruyne needs to wreak havoc from those central areas. I'll keep my fingers crossed that Kimmich will play just like he did at the World Cup for Germany when he was pretty awful. In my opinion, Neymar will tear him to shreds. Mbappe is amazing, I'm not going to deny that. But Marcelo is an experienced player who I reckon can keep him under lock and key. That's my Team Europe. I think it's more than enough to win this one. Do you agree or disagree? Why don't you leave your picks in the comments? 
That's my America's 11, but let us know in the comments section who you would pick in your Team Americas. Hit that bell icon and hit that subscribe button. To get all the latest football news direct from goal.